Alright. Five. Four. Three. Good evening, Los Santos. Dan Dorfman here with another Dorfman Files for WVT TV News. The news you need to hear when you need to hear it. As you, you've been paying attention to our news reporting this evening, we've been uh, dealing with some breaking news out here, working with the uh, fine folks here at SecuraSurf. And uh, we were just talking with uh, Jeffrey Connors of SecuraSurf a little earlier about the, uh, the party that's going to be held tomorrow and the 75-25 raffle that's going to benefit the citizens of uh, Los Santos and one lucky winner. Um, and, uh, Jeffrey, I appreciate you coming on and speaking to us a little bit about SecuraServe. I know this, uh, this organization, uh, this company, you've been with it for a long time and it's, it's been a real passion of yours, almost uh, as much of a passion for you as it has been for Mr. Price. And I want to tell it, have a, have you tell us a little bit about, uh, a little bit about what SecuraServe means to you. Oh, thank you, Dan. Yeah, no, uh, secure serve means to me, honestly, it's it's always been about protecting the people. Um, it's always been about uh, providing a service that uh, sometimes people are too afraid to go to the police with. You know, people are, uh, you know, maybe they, they don't want to go to the police with uh, that. And, and obviously just protecting citizens. I mean, uh, secure serve, we've, we've been in business since the 1800s. The 1800s, uh, Mr. Price has been uh, uh, handed down. The reins of secure serve from his father, his father for him, his father for him. Um, it's uh, it's absolutely great. Uh, secure serve, honestly, is just uh, it's 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 everything. It's everything that a security company should be. Mr. Dorfman. Well, that's amazing. You got you got your uh, so secure serve roots go back to the 1800s. And uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that story and how that uh, where the origin kind of came from, and uh, how secure serve kind of kind of became the organization that it is today. Well, um, to be honest with you, Mr. Dorfman, I am the uh, the adopted son of Freddie Price. Uh, his father was the chief of secure serve before him. His father before him, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, all the way back to the 1800s. Now, if you're going to want to know the origins of how SecureServe uh, came to be, I think that Mr. Price would probably tell the best. However, I will say right now that everything that I've heard, I can assure you that the the leadership of SecureServe, all they want to do is help out the people of uh, Los Santos, 100%. Dating all the way back to the 1800s, actually. Um, we've always had the the red and black. We've always had uh, everything that we absolutely need to, to protect and serve. And uh, Dan, I, uh, I gotta tell you, I'm, I'm very, very blessed to be part of this family. I'm very, very blessed that uh, Mr. Price has chosen me to be his adopted son. Uh, you know, he, he took me under his wing, so to speak, and uh, I couldn't be happier. Well, it sounds like, uh, you know, not only is he a, a boss to you, but uh, dare I say a father figure. And, uh, and the way he's kind of mentored you and uh, brought you in under his wing. Now, how did you, uh, how did you come into you know, the attention of Mr. Price? Think back to those, uh, those early days before you were red and black. And you know, tell us a little bit about how a guy like you, uh, now famous, uh, gets involved with, uh, with a man like Mr. Price. Uh, yeah, Dan, I mean, uh, there's been a lot of, uh, there's been a lot of, uh, decisions in my life, I would say necessarily, uh, made in this city that, that I would, uh, look fondly upon. And the biggest one obviously is the first time that I pulled up to the, uh, the mega mall down there in, uh, near yeah, you're Street. talking about the mega mall down there. You, uh, in, uh, you're talking Christ. about the mega mall down there by, uh, Carson, uh, Dave, uh, Car Carson Avenue, Davis. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you see, that's where uh, that's where Secure Serve uh, originated from this time around. See, Mr. Uh, Freddie Price has actually grown Secure Serve to to such a degree that we're actually uh, we're able to take on contracts. We're not just serving the Mega Mall anymore. We've actually grown so much to the point where uh, you know we take on private contracts, we take on contracts for parties, uh, different businesses, all that sort of thing. Um, we, we've grown to a huge extent, to be honest with you. Uh, now, when I first met Mr. Price, I was applying for a job. I had just moved to Los Santos. I was an 18-year-old boy from Canada. Just moved there. Um, 
never really knew my father, uh, Johnny Dazzler, who actually is a police officer in Los Santos. I, I would come Holy to shit, later. you're talking about Captain uh, Dazzler. Never... I, we just uh, we just heard that uh, Captain correct. Dazzler got, uh, you know, not only, not only is he an author of the Eight Inches of Razzle Dazzle, but uh, he's also now the, the gosh darn police captain. Yeah, yeah, he is a he is a police captain in this city. He is my biological father. I actually did not know that when I moved here. Um, I moved to the city. I was looking for. Uh, I wanted to become an actor. Uh, that was my main thing. I I wanted to uh, become an actor. I needed a job, obviously, so I applied for Sekiro Serve. Mr. Price, uh, he took me under his wing. He he taught me the ways of Sekiro Serve, everything like that. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, I I found out that my father was still around here. He seemed to be. Uh, he seemed to be kind of negative towards my, uh, my acting career, but uh, Mr. Price seemed to take me in, and uh, eventually uh, I, he presented me with adoption papers, and uh, even though it doesn't matter because I'm a full-grown adult and adoption means literally nothing to that, he is my adopted father now, and he took me in. He taught me everything that I need to know about SecureServe. Uh, here I am, actually the uh, the future chief of security serve, Jeffrey Connors, right here. Uh, and that's uh, that sounds like a pretty amazing story. Now, given the uh, the tensions that have uh, you know been reported of late that uh, been between security serve and uh, you know and uh, the Los Santos Police Department, that uh, that can't you know make you feel uh, warm and fuzzy inside. I'm sure that uh, you know for the benefit of all. Uh, you're really interested in having a close relationship with uh, your biological father as well as Mr. Price and making sure they get along. Oh, absolutely. I, I, I wish that they would get along. Unfortunately, it's been a very... Um, well, let's just say that, I mean, it's it's difficult. It's difficult when uh, your adopted father and your biological father don't get along. I would, uh, I would love to get them to, to get along and all that stuff. I have no issue with uh, Captain Dazzler. He's my biological father. I love him. I love Mr. Price as well. He's my adopted father. He took me in. Um, really nothing you can do about it. But, uh, you know, we're... Uh, I'm doing the best that I can, uh, Mr. Dorfman. Uh, you know, I've had, a, I've had a, a great... I've made a lot of great friends. I have uh, Mike Lemonade. You know, he's got my back uh, through thick and thin. Um, Miss Fanny Pudding is probably, I would, I would dare to say, my best friend. On the, in the whole goddamn world, uh, there's nobody I can trust more than her. And uh, also, I'd, I'd like to give a shout out. To, uh, fuck Frank Murdoch. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, well, you know, maybe tomorrow night will be one of those opportunities, uh, one of those rare opportunities, where uh, perhaps some of this, uh, some of this animus, some of the uh, contention can be laid aside, and uh, secure a serve, and the LSPD can find a way to work together for the uh, benefit of the citizens of Los Santos. Now, uh, it turns out in your story, you mentioned that uh, you came here to be an actor. And uh, it, it turns out that uh, that dream actually came true for you. And uh, you're now appearing on the, uh, yeah. on the hit TV show. Uh, the hit TV show Found, I do believe, is what it's called, right? It's a, kind of a sci-fi, sci uh, kind of like a sci-fi uh, thriller on... Uh, uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about that. Well, uh, I started filming about last year. Um, I moved. I had to move to Hawaii with my friend uh, Jack Deacons. He's he's probably my uh, my best friend. Um, I, I moved there. Uh, we started to film it. Uh, it's a show about uh, you know people crash on an island in a plane. Um, <laughs> they get lost in a plane. There's a lot of mysterious stuff. They get lost for a bit and then they're immediately found. And, uh, that, you know, I, I play the, the de facto leader, the spinal surgeon, the doctor of said show. And uh, it's a lead role. It's on, it's on uh, you know, network television. Network television. Uh, prime time. It's absolutely fantastic. I, I can't get, you know, I, I can't, I don't have enough, I can't say enough nice things about the producers and writers of this show. They really go in, they really, uh, they really explore the sci-fi universe. It's absolutely fantastic. Um, I've also been in a couple of movies. I've been in, in the uh, the Red Kilometer. Uh, I've been in uh, Space Battles, one through six. Uh, a lot of things, 
A lot, a lot of now, things have been in, uh, but uh, Found is definitely the, the bread and butter. I love Found. Now, there's been a lot of speculation about Found, and uh, there, there's some people, I uh, was just getting word from my producer, that uh, some people think that uh, that the island that you guys have secretly kind of crashed into uh, that has all of this kind of strange things going on is really a floating suppository out there in, uh, you know, in the ocean. And uh, I wonder if you could comment about that, give us a kind of any kind of insight when you read the script, you know, what you thought uh, the island was. Uh, do you mean, do you mean uh, a purgatory kind of thing? Yeah, yeah, the, the, a floating floating suppository, yeah. All right, well, I can assure you right now, absolutely, that the island and everything you see on the island is absolutely not a purgatory. I can assure you of that. The writers and the producers have assured us of that. Everything that happens on the island is something that happens... In reality, it is definitely not uh, any sort of purgatory, uh, and and to be, I wouldn't be part of it if it was. To be honest with you, that'd be too too much of a uh, leeway. Now, if you see something in later seasons that might make you think that it's a purgatory, um, you're wrong. Maybe whatever you see is a purgatory. Maybe you know if there's like some sort of obviously we know there's a lot of flashbacks at the end of season one. Uh, the flashback to get the character things. My character, for example, has a lot of daddy issues. Uh, no relation to my to my real self, and uh, everything like that. But uh, if there's ever like a flash sideways, that would be purgatory. But everything that happened on the island would be 100% uh, reality and truth. Well, that's uh, I mean that sounds really good. So it's kind of like a, a sci-fi reality show meets uh, you know meets excellent writers and uh, and then and then you have these great great actors like yourself uh, out there in the. Uh, in the public eye. So, uh, you know, the last thing is, uh, you know, I asked this of Miss Pudding, but uh, Mr. Connors, you know, where do you see Secure Serve uh, heading in the next couple of years? Uh, you know, what do you see the future of Secure Serve being here in Los Santos? Uh, I, I believe that Secure Serve is going to uh, continue to rise through ranks and popularity. I believe that Secure Serve is eventually going to have to. Uh, um, send out multiple units i believe that at a certain point we're going to be having to cover multiple events at a at the same time um we've been growing and growing we've been doing great uh secure serve like i said has been the best the premier security company in los Santos. <laughs> nobody can beat us. Did. um nobody can beat our prices let alone our uh you know the the way that we handle ourselves Who professionally on the job and uh, in my opinion, that's just uh, where the best there is, and I believe that we're going to uh, continue going up uh, when I, while I work here during my uh, my off season when I'm not filming. Well, that's fantastic. You heard it right here first, guys. Uh, you know, we had breaking news with Miss Pudding talking about the uh, potential Secure Serve helicopter. We've got the party happening tomorrow down here, thrown by Secure Serve, the 7525 raffle, and uh, you know, just like the uh, just like the plane crash there on the island found. Uh, Jeffrey Connors and Secure Serve have risen up, and uh, they're here to uh, to help to help us uh, get through the uh, purgatory that sometimes Los Santos feels like. And so, uh, with that, this is Dan Dorfman with another That's Dorfman it. Files with WVT TV News, the news you need to hear when you need to hear it, Los Santos. Stephen, let's go back to you in the studios. And cut. We're out.